go. Raw <laughs> halibut. Chef Ramsay, dynamite's the thing right in front of us. There was like halibut shrapnel all over us. Raw, raw, raw. Scott was making me look bad. Good show. Raw. As Mikey starts over on his halibut. Make sure it's cooked. Yeah, make sure it's cooked, yeah. right? Over in the red kitchen. This is definitely ready. I'm feeling confident about this one, ladies. We need that one first. I think that my team worked better after those three people got kicked out. I mean, we were putting tables out, and I think that things started to finally come together. That's cooked perfectly. An hour and a half into dinner service, with the red diners enjoying their entrees. Good. And Chef Ramsay is eager to send out Benjamin and Salvatore's final appetizers. Capellini, two risotto, one scallops. How long? Five minutes, Chef. Five minutes. Get your rice in there. Yes, Chef. You're cooking the risotto with no rice in there. Yes, Chef. How's that possible? It's not possible, okay. Chef. The rice has to go in before the stock. Yes, Chef. Benjamin, tough kind of chef. You can't even cook risotto as a chef. What's Salvatore doing? Put, put it down. It's a cold pan. You gotta get the pan hot first. This is basic now. Yes, chef. You can't put cold food into a cold pan. It absorbs the olive oil. So in the center of the potato, it's like eating a mouthful of grease. Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. There's two of you on there. How long? He's not even listening. Hey, do me a Come here, you. Hey, you as well. Hey, where's Smurf, Smurf, come in here, you. You and you. F off, will you? Get out. Piss off. I'm not going to stand here and struggle time after time. I don't know what happened. I got lost in with the appetizer. F off up to the dorm. Get out of here. Maybe he don't like the way I talk. I don't know. He don't like me. Who knows? Maybe he don't like Italian people. With Salvatore and Benjamin being thrown out of the kitchen. Guess what? Be don't proud. feel so bad. How's yeah, everybody? Yeah, I feel proud. No, but it's not good. It is very clear that Chef Ramsay is not going to let anyone get in the way of a completed dinner service. Salmon Wellington, yes? Let's yes, go. Chef. Yes, chef. yes, Chef. I need like five minutes. Oh, come on, Stacy. I haven't been on the line in a really long time, and I had no idea what I was walking into. How can I wait? Nearly two hours for an entree. Now you want five more minutes for the salmon. Three minutes. How long? Three minutes. Three minutes now. Why are you jumping all over the place? Five, three, tell me. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. You're not sure? No, Chef. Madam, come here. Yes, Chef. Right now, I'm not too sure about you. I'm sorry, oh, Chef. Stop. Do me one big favor. Get off out of here. Join the rest of them. I'm not sure. With the numbers getting smaller in the kitchens and bigger in the dorms. Another one. Have we, have we gone to entrees yet? Yeah. Behind, Chef. Chef Ramsay is hoping all the dead weight is gone. Halibut's raw. Unbelievable. Mikey! Yes, Chef. Come here, again. Raw <laughs> halibut. Take that, yeah? Do me a favor. Oh, get out! Up to the dorms and get your hair done. Get it out of my kitchen! What is going on? It was up both sides it, it was man down man down everywhere two and a half hours into dinner service and with both kitchens stalled customers are getting restless the only thing i ate before i came I can't believe these people are still out there with only four chefs left in the red kitchen and five in the blue come here all of you come here hurry up chef ramsey's dream of completing the first dinner service appears to be slipping away you guys are Useless, but I am not gonna shut this place down. You, 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 over there, work together. Double up! Chef, Chef. Chef. I am not giving up! With Chef Ramsay's guarantee of completing dinner service less certain, you guys are useless and half the chefs up in the dorm chef ramsey resorts to drastic measures work together double up yes, chef. Yes, chef. move your ass what do you guys need now uh, what do we need yeah i need 16 cooks while the newly combined team gets to work back in the dorms the chefs welcome one more reject so we're not just you we're not finishing service i wanted to <laughs> slap his ass 
Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, Chef Ramsay is more determined than ever. I am not closing this down. Let's do this. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Let's go. Bring it together, Ed. Go. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Come on. Two beef, two Wellington. Let's go. I'm taking control of that team, and I'm feeding the first dinner service. Get your mushrooms in there. Get the cream going. Yes, sir. Okay, bring it all up the temp. Got Pepper it, got it, got it, got it. Whatever it may take, I'm getting it done. Salad, please. Let's go, please. That meat was cooked perfectly. Thank you, Chef. Don't stop. With the combined efforts of both teams. Beautiful. And Ed's leadership. Uh, send it. Come on. Entrees are flying out of the kitchen. This is really good. Three tickets left. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Hey, are you ready? You going to the pass? I'm ready on the Wellington. Let's go. Come on. Go. Come on, guys. Last table, guys. Wellington's ready. Coming down. Coming down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Switch it off. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Tonight is like a bittersweet victory, you know. It was harder than we thought. Oh, man, be right now. That was awesome. What a night. We did fulfill our objective. We served and completed a fully booked restaurant. But trust me, I am not ready to celebrate because we shouldn't. Even though we had to merge both kitchens, I'm still going to decide on a losing team. It's clear. The losing team tonight is... The ladies. Behind all night, couldn't get going. Yeah, you sucked. All of you. Come to a consensus on which two of you should be put up for elimination. Now, off upstairs to the dorm. It really sucks that we lost, and now we have to put somebody on the chopping block. I don't know what to say. I'm just pissed off right now. I really am. What happened? I was so freaking overwhelmed. I mean, I really was. I up. You gotta let people help you. Don't say I got it if you don't have it. I definitely screwed up, but as far as my performance, it wasn't the best, it wasn't the worst, it was right in the middle of the road. And I'm absolutely gonna fight to stay. I'd like to know, who would you guys boot off? With no hard feelings, I say Maria. Because you seem a little frazzled early. I didn't put any entrees out. I was kicked out before we did anything entrees. I think it's complete crap. I didn't do as bad as other people on my team. I personally, I would nominate Fran and Stacy. Those would be my choices. And why would you take me? Honestly, I think that you got really flustered by Chef. And I don't, I'm not saying that. What does that have to do with the food? Because it affected the food. And how come you just stood there and watched everybody? Autumn. She's one to watch out for. She should be sent home. You know why? Because she wasn't part of the team. She's thinking of herself. We all have different things in our heads on how a kitchen's supposed to run. And I think a kitchen should run like a team. And I would nominate you, because you're you... not a team player. OK. So what is our decision again? I don't think we came to one. OK. Autumn, first nominee and why, please? Chef, we nominated Stacy. We felt that service began badly and we just weren't able to recover. Okay, second nominee and why? We also nominated... Losing the first dinner service, the women's first nominee was Stacy. Second nominee and why? We also nominated Fran. Why? She was kicked out of the kitchen. She wasn't able to redeem herself. Let's go, Stacy and Fran, step forward. Fran. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I don't think I don't think I did the worst today. I don't even really know why I was sent upstairs. You couldn't even tell me the difference between lobster and crab. How many legs does a lobster have? 